You finally have four friends around to play Winning Eleven, but only two of the controllers work. In this guide, we'll show you how to get a four-player match started on RetroArch. This should be good for Emuelec, Batocera, Pandora 500, and the Super Console X. If you have friends, that is. You only play with yourself. Welcome to Team Pandori. Like, subscribe, and bell! In today's video, we're going to use Emuelec installed onto NN2+. Anything with RetroArch on the back end will work. We'll also need four compatible controllers. We're going to use three wired up, and this Pro 2 controller connected wirelessly via the Mayflash Magic NS. If you don't have enough USB ports, we can always use a USB hub. Now insert each controller in player order. Stick them in nice and hard. Push Start to get to the main menu, then go to the controller settings. If you have an arcade cabinet where controls need to be static, it may be wise to assign each player to a controller. If you're using it as a console, keep it as default. Now to configure each controller. Hold down the button on the device you want to set up, then follow the prompts. If we don't have the input requested, we can hold the button to skip. One very important thing to set up is a hotkey enable. For this, I usually share it with the select button. Now that all four controllers are configured, we're going to go down to PlayStation, then press the select button. Go to Advanced System Options, then change the core or emulator to PCSX Rearmed. Either of these are fine, your choice. And now to start the game. Here's Winning 11 2002. We'll first need to make a memory card file. At this point, press Start. Let it do its thing. Match mode. Exhibition match. At this point, most people get stumped, and that's because the multi-tap is not set up. So hold our hotkey and press triangle. This will bring our retro our quick menu. We're gonna go down to options. These are the PlayStation options. We're gonna turn show other input settings to on. And the same for multi-tap one. Now exit the game by pressing start and select twice. And then restart the game. Now if we go back to the same menu, we'll see that more players are available. But the Pro 2 controller is not moving anything on the screen. So now go back to our quick menu, then press X to go back. Now go over to settings, and then input. Ports 1 to 4 are automatically filled up with our controllers, and the only one that isn't is port 5. So go into that, then change device index to the controller that is not responding. Now we can back out, go to main menu, quick menu, and resume, and our controller works. And there we have it, 4 player winning 11. This will also work with winning 11 4. And PES 2. It's kick -off time. If you found this video helpful, please hit a like and maybe share it with your buddies. This has been Amy Chicken of Team Pandori, and I'll catch you on the next one. Ta ra! I'm going to play some PES with my groupies.